The benefits you get by joining the military ain't that bad. When I ask you guys why you joined the military, the majority of you guys said that's the main reason why you guys joined. And the second was a combination of both. And it's not a bad deal. The military covers your housing, your food, your health care. You guys get free college after four years. And since the military is going to take everything it can away from you, it's important that you guys know about every benefit that you guys have just by being in the military. Because the military is going to have you in places you can't even pronounce, you've never even heard of, sucking, miserable, cold, wet, just straight up hating life. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys my favorite benefits or perks about being in the military. And if you pay attention to the video, I'm gonna tell you guys how you can possibly make even thousands of dollars just by using these benefits. Comment down below your favorite perk about being in the military. If you haven't joined my Discord already, join it. If you haven't liked the video already, like it. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My favorite perk so far about being in the military is the fact that your credit card fees are waived. So due to the SCRA, all credit card fees are waived. So meaning if you guys want that Amex Platinum or that Amex Gold or that Chase Sapphire credit card, these are prestigious credit cards, by the way. Your fees are waived, but you still get the benefits. I personally have both credit cards, and if you guys are not responsible, I highly encourage you guys to not get a bunch of credit cards. But if you guys are responsible, the sky is the limit. Get as many credit cards as you want, because there's a whole bunch of ways you guys can increase your wealth or leverage your credit card benefits to get a lot of stuff for free. In addition, if you have a spouse, their fees can also be waived as well. Say you in a club, you with some shorty, you trying to impress them, you be like, Oop, let me use my platinum. You hear that? That's metal. That's metallic. What you know about that? A big baller, big baller. The whole time you in the military getting paid minimum, less than minimum wage. But they don't know that though. There's also additional benefits with the SCRA, but by far the no annual credit card fee, but you keep the benefits is by far my favorite. Oh boy. And also more importantly, if you're in the military, it's important that you guys have at least a credit score of 700. The military is a great way to build your credit because you have stable income and no bills. The next benefit I like about being in the military is that we get a lot of discounts at major retailer stores. Usually military members get at least 10% off. So if you guys are out shopping, make sure you ask if the store has a military discount. It also includes discounts for your cell phone provider. So for an example, I have T-Mobile and they have a military plan in itself and I'm able to save money completely compared to a regular civilian would just by being in the military. Speaking of cell phone providers, for today's video, I partnered up with Mint Mobile to talk to you guys about how you guys can save money by switching to Mint Mobile, which only takes 15 minutes. Mint Mobile uses the nation's largest 5G networks and is often cheaper than many other phone plans with plans starting as low as $15. I got the chance to try out Mint Mobile for my own personal use. And I gotta say guys and girls that it's honestly just like my T-Mobile service. I was able to go on YouTube, watch videos, no different than if I were using T-Mobile or Mint Mobile. You can buy a phone from Mint Mobile or you can bring your own. If your phone isn't eSIM compatible, no worries. Mint Mobile will mail you a SIM card free of charge. I also personally like the support. I found that they were pretty fast when responding to any of my problems and they were just overall great. Also, if you didn't know, Ryan Reynolds or AKA Deadpool is a big part of Mint Mobile and he's a pretty cool dude. Stop paying more than you need to on your wireless phone bill and start saving with Mint Mobile. Use my link in the description to get a premium wireless plan starting at $15 a month. Now this next benefit that I'm going to talk about for you 18, 17 year olds may not be thought about and like you may not realize how important it is, but when you guys are older down the line, you guys are going to realize how big of a benefit this actually is. And the benefit that I'm talking about is the VA home loan. So basically what the VA home loan does for you is you guys are able to take out a mortgage to buy a house with $0 down with a same interest rate that any other competitive bank would give you, but you don't have to pay PMI. In a nutshell, basically, you save a lot of money by using a VA home loan. And if you're an investor, you wanna buy a duplex, triplex, quadplex, and you wanna put $0 down to make sure you're leveraging your own money as much as possible, using a VA home loan is right up your alley. Next up is tuition assistance. Now you guys may have heard of the GI Bill and how the military can pay for your college after you've done serving your term. But while you guys are in, you guys can use tuition assistance. Right now, the cap for each fiscal year is $4,000 or $4,500, depending on which branch you're currently serving in. But pretty much, you guys can use that money to go to school, get a degree, or start your degree and finish some classes before you guys get out. And, you know, that way you guys don't have to use your GI Bill on the whole college degree because you use your tuition assistance on it. So you won. You already knocked out some classes, so you saved yourself some time, and then boom, you saved yourself some money, so you guys can use your GI Bill on something else, because, you know, you already 
got your degree. I highly recommend this if you guys are still in. Even if you only take one class, I strongly encourage you guys to use your tuition system because you guys are just throwing away $4,000 every fiscal year. And you guys can also use that in combination with your Pell Grant to actually get paid. I got paid over $1,000 just to use my Pell Grant. It's literally a win-win. You're getting paid to educate yourself and better yourself and go to school. At least take one college class. Next up is laser eye surgery. Unfortunately, your boy is so blind as a bat that he can't get laser eye surgery. If you look at my old videos, you'll see me wearing my glasses. But if you guys have bad eyesight, definitely see if you guys can get laser eye surgery paid for by the military. Pretty much, it's just an overall improvement of your quality of life. I strongly encourage you guys to look into it if your eyesight's kind of iffy you know what i'm saying glasses is kind of annoying in the military the gyms on post are free some of them are 24 hours some of them are not but the thing is make sure you're in one of them after work you say you do i did pt in the morning go to the gym after pt even if you did pt in the civilian world gym memberships cost money bro and depending on the situation you might not have you know the money for that because they're like 20 40 bucks a month they got the saunas they got basketball courts they got weight rooms bro they're not bad gyms if you follow me on instagram you know i'm an avid gym rat the gym changed my life i'm glad i joined the military because i probably would not have been in the gym one of the biggest factors of me starting to go to the gym was i got my heart broken we were in the field and as a soldier you're gonna have to carry your buddies around if they get injured bro and this one time this one field exercise it was that we were carrying infantrymen and as you know it's not just carrying the person you got to carry all their gear with you too and for the life of me bro i'm like holy crap these infantry guys are heavy af so i'm like bro i gotta start hitting the gym because imagine having that on your conscience where you couldn't save somebody's life because you were physically too weak that would stick with me personally for the rest of my life and that would honestly help me so your boy is training so i never have to be in that situation and also when grandma pinches your arm and you know bro it's good it's really good it helped me it helped me mentally it's a good stress reliever whenever you're mad frustrated go to the gym lastly and i kind of touched on this before but basic living costs in the military is pretty much covered you guys don't have to worry about when your next check is coming you guys don't have to worry about oh the food prices are going up you know you guys don't have to worry about your health care yada 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 and you guys also don't have to worry about you know paying to see a therapist you guys don't have to see about you know financial advisors things that in the civilian world will cost you thousands of dollars just for an hour of somebody's time like for example legal freaking dentists all these other things and facilities that you guys will pay for in the civilian world are pretty much free in the military and it's definitely a benefit that not many service members take advantage of and the military isn't going to be forever and i highly encourage you guys to start thinking about your exit plan as soon as you join how you're going to use the military to benefit your life to move forward and progress although all the things i've said aren't nearly enough for compensation for all the things that we go through on a daily basis but if you're not using it you're just wasting it you know it's there for you so use it all right what's up gang Today is 